Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share you with you guys what I got from a cherry on top. Um, it's just like a scrapbooking kind of store. So I'm going to have everything linked down below that I got and I'll try to also have it linked with um, scrapbook.com because I know some of you guys shop there instead. However, if you do a cherry on top and if you guys are new to a cherry on top, um, you guys could use my referral ID code when you sign up and that gives you, I think it's 5,000 points or a thousand. Um, I don't remember the point amount, but it's like, it's enough points to give you $5 off your next purchase. So if it's your first time signing up, um, you guys get that, but a cherry on top also does kind of points throughout anyway. So anytime you spend money, you get more points and then you could use those points and apply it towards your purchases. I think it's up to $20 off per order, um, which is awesome. So I'm going to have um, both a cherry on top and scrapbook.com kind of products linked down below for you guys in case you guys prefer one over the other. Um, I tend to shop from both because sometimes it just depends on what they have in stock, but I do like um, the point system. <laughs> so I'm going to open this up and let's get started so you guys could see what I got. Okay, first I'm going to take out my um, kind of order kind of thing on here. All right, so I took that out. Um, I got a lot of stuff here, um, like some journal cards to go with a different collection that I had. Um, actually, yeah, some of that, and then like some adhesive strips from my new thermal cinch machine. So I'm gonna share with you guys all the things kind of that I picked up. Um, so it's kind of like bits and pieces, no full on um, collection, but I have shared the two collections pieces that I got. Um, I have shared those full collections on my channel before, so I will link those down below if you guys want to see the full collection, but I did get bits and pieces. All right, so I'm going to open this, take this off my desk. Okay, you guys, so as you could see here, I did get some stuff that goes with like that new Pooh themed collection, the Winnie the Pooh. Um, so I don't know if you guys know, but like the license on Winnie the Pooh kind of expired recently so like all these uh crafty kind of brands got in on it and started making a bunch of like Winnie the Pooh collections which I absolutely love because I used to love Winnie the Pooh growing up and these would make adorable baby albums and especially if somebody has like a Winnie the Pooh themed party or nursery like how adorable so I did recently get that collection the Winnie the Pooh collection. So I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to see the full flip through. But I wanted to get some other pieces that go with it. Um, after Tiffany shared that she has all the pieces, I was like, okay, you know what? They are really cute. I need to get some. So here's the titles and phrases, some cardstock die cut pieces that go with it. So I could use it to embellish and things. Um, I also got the frames and tags. So you can see they're a little different. I mean, they are different. Um, so there's really only like one tag in here. There's a couple of frames though, but like I felt like I needed both. <laughs> so I got them. I also got the sticker book. That's something I normally never do. I usually only get sticker books for like Christmas and I have a couple of other ones from Echo Park Warehouse Sales, um, but I don't normally buy sticker books, but I really like, I really just like the Winnie the Pooh and I was like, okay, we're gonna get it. And if they happen to have this in the next like warehouse sale and like Winnie the Pooh paper, I will probably get more just because it's going to be good to have in my stash. And like I said, it's going to make the cutest baby themed albums. So here's the sticker book. I definitely have like you could use a lot of these pieces. Like how cute are these? Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in our heart. How adorable. How lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? I just like love all the sayings in here and everything. And it's just, I love it. So definitely recommend getting that as well. All right, here, you guys can see I got some scissors. 
pink craft scissors. I needed that in my craft room, number one. But number two, my scissors, one of mine, the large ones, hasn't been cutting so well, and they're like non-stick scissors. These aren't, but I thought I would get um, some new ones because there's like these precision scissors for fussy cutting and stuff, and just like three different kind of pairs of scissors. So I thought they would be really good to have um, in my craft room. Because like I use, I, so I have these little ones that I've been trying to fussy cut with and they're not that sharp anymore. So I thought I would get these guys. They're not the most comfortable to hold, but they are, you know, nice and small. Um, and then they got these ones and these ones as well. All right, so I'm happy to have some pink ones in my stash now in my craft room to use so I picked those up um I also oh wait here's some more Winnie the Pooh stuff okay we got Winnie the Pooh adhesive brads <laughs> I literally went all out I normally never get all this stuff with collections I normally get a collection kit and that's usually it but I couldn't help myself I had to get them all <laughs> all the pieces what if they start licensing it again? What if, I, I don't know, like what if Winnie the Pooh is like um, copyrighted again and they won't be able to sell this? I don't know. Um, but for now, the license kind of expired. So yeah. Oh, so they have three different versions of this. So they have um, frames and tags, titles and phrases. Clearly, I don't remember what I ordered, but, and then they also have ephemera. So they have three kind of different ones. They got a lot to go with this collection but I'm I'm glad to have it all um all right here they're advertising 49 and market Ooh, I could use these cut up birds in some three by four little mini notebooks um I don't love that this is the back um oh you know what I could use these on some covers of three by four size notebooks smiles for you hello friend I'm here for you today and always or on some cards but yeah definitely gonna hold on to those um, another thing I have in my stash is the Love Notes collection by Echo Park. So it's actually a collection that I won from um, like one of their giveaways they had. I won the collection and it was just like the collection kit. So I wanted some pieces to go with it just because I love it. I love this collection. It was so cute. Um, so here's the ephemera. I love Valentine's Day and it's something I don't get to craft often enough with. I thought I would get to use this this year and I did not. Um, here's the frames and tags. Um, so I got that and then I got some additional papers for that. Some cut aparts because you can never have too many cut aparts. Um, looks like I also got some for the Winnie the Pooh collection. Some additional cut aparts because like I'm going to want to use the back of some of these papers and then I'm not going to have any cut aparts left. So I needed to get an extra sheet of all the different kinds of cut aparts to have just in case I need them. Um, we got the, okay, these are the thermal cinch glue strips. I got like these smaller ones so I can make my own kind of bindings. So I got this here. It comes with 50 glue strips. I think you use like, I want to say you use probably like three or like a very basic one because you use one on the bottom and then one on the sides of the notebook or actually it says just one I don't really know we'll have to see and then I, I mean you could also kind of put these side by side and make a thicker kind of glue strip depending on what you're using yeah you know what I think it's just on the bottom for the binding piece and then I could use my own I think adhesive tape as I wrap it around um, I haven't played with my thermal cinch yet. I haven't even unboxed it yet. I just haven't had the time. But you guys have been asking me to do a video on that. So as soon as I unbox it, um, we will start testing out some things. Um, and then I got some chipboard accents that go with the Winnie the Pooh collection. So they also have two versions of this. They have the chipboard accents and they have the chipboard phrases. So this is what they look like. I'm going to get the whole collection. Might as well get every single piece that goes with the collection. Um, so I love that. And then I also just got the Love Notes Coordinating Solids paper. 
And again, if they have these, any of these in a warehouse sale, I will probably get more because I love them that much. Um, so yeah, that is everything that guys that I got from a cherry on top. I'll have everything linked down below. And if you guys want to see the full video flip throughs of the love notes collection by echo park and the winnie the pooh collection by echo park i'll have it linked down below because i did do full flip throughs on the 12 by 12 um collection kits but i also have everything linked down below in case you guys want to shop too so thank you guys so much for watching um and that is everything so i will see you guys in my next crafty video bye